What's <laughs> happening? Okay, <laughs> let's do that again, shall we? Welcome to Esperance. In this video, we're taking you around the best species of Esperance and area. And let's just say that our favorite is not Lucky Bay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shocking, right? Stay around and find out for yourself. We are Soraya and Kenny. We decided to take a gap year of work and are now traveling full time around the world. It's a crazy adventure and we want to take you along with us. Showing the most amazing beaches, eating around the world, learning about new cultures, discovering the natural wonders, searching for animals in the wild, doing some fun activities and much, much, much more. Welcome to the channel that makes you glow while traveling. After a very long drive, we made it to Esperance. But first things first, food. But then we had kind of situation. Yeah, it's time to eat. Bananas. <laughs> so today we decided to just go straight ahead to Esperance. Uh, but during our way, we didn't have any uh, reception of whatsoever. Um, just very sporadically, and then after a few seconds, it was finished like that. So when we got in, when we did get in Esperance, uh, it was too late because uh, many of those uh, camping grounds of caravan parks already closed at 6 p.m. and they don't have any after hours. So. We were basically stuck here, but <laughs> okay, let's decide. Let's go first something to eat, and then we ask around by people. Well, do you know a place? Yeah, maybe around by the fisher boat, and uh, well, somewhere about the dumpster, uh, somewhere about that kind of shabby place so somewhere. Oh, I need to go. <laughs> Okay. So the story continues. So basically, there wasn't any place to sleep tonight. Um, so we were kind of desperate, so to speak, and we wanted to head back from like somewhere like a half uh, hour drive from Esperance because there will be some camping ground we can stand for free. Uh, but however, we yeah, didn't have enough uh, gas, so we decided to go. Well, okay, go straight back to the pump station, gas station, and yeah, well, maybe ask it there because that's all advice. If you don't know, if you're in trouble, ask it at the gas station because there they will know what to do. And then there was a very, very nice lady at the gas station. He said, Well, I'm living here like two streets away, and if you like, you can stay. Our at, at our driveway for the night. So, we're basically now here. So, thank you very much, because, uh, yeah, perfect. Coffee time. We were not killed and started the day with good coffee. Book the camping ground, so it's discovery time. It's good morning. So, after uh, yesterday's adventure <laughs> um, we slept actually pretty okay and now we are going to explore a little bit more about in uh, Esperance and we are starting with the Great Ocean Drive so not the one in Melbourne but yeah around here and as you can see it's a uh, kind of a loop so we are now somewhere here at the camping and uh, we just checked in and we are going to drive and make this whole loop so the pink leg is not as pink as and uh, used to be but we will have a look at anyhow and we're going to the famous twilight beach and see what else there, uh, there is around so um, yeah that's our plan for today let's go first up Canary Art Center. See, funny thing about love is you never really know when it's coming. 
But you better believe you'll know when it's there. <laughs> True story. I must have been searching. Though I wasn't right. It was really cool and we just made the bit. Hope for the best. You know I keep it cool. I prefer to stay in the cut. Before leaving, there is another cool thing to do here. Climbing a couple of steps to enjoy the incredible view. Esperance Jetty Highland. Take a stroll or spend the morning fishing at the Esperance Jetty. With a nature playground, food and coffee kiosk plus beautiful walkways, there's plenty to do in this beautiful area. Stop 3, the visitor center. Fall back just a little, don't want to lead you on. Don't want to push the feeling and make the feeling go. You see, I got your number. Still, I ain't used the phone. No, I let it breathe for a minute, baby. Next thing I know, you call. Damn. So, this is number five. We made a little uh, mistake with the numbering, but we are back on track again. So, this is number five, and the visitor center is not number three, that was the real tail. Esperance Great Ocean Drive is a 40 kilometer circular loop to explore by car that features a vast range of coastal elements such as stunning beaches, rocky headlands, small bays, steep cliffs, and hidden ocean. The Great Ocean Drive doesn't only take you along beautiful beaches, you also walk along amazing views. We will show you a lot of incredible stops. You can easily do it in one day, but we took our time to spread it over several days. Stop number six. Up to number ten. So, our next stop, number 10, Blue Haven. Number 12, Salmon Beach. It's a tuna. <laughs> Number 13, Fall Beach.
famous Twilight Beach. So we just came back from Twilight Beach, I think one of the most famous in Estran. One of them. <laughs> uh, it's the one with the rocks uh, in the water and you see uh, on Instagram that people are jumping off that rock. Well, that rock is not that rock is not that close from the beach, so you need to swim to it. And uh, we really like our arms and legs because there are some big fishes out there that uh, like to bite. Um, and it actually happened that two little guys uh, needed to be picked up by a helicopter because there were great white sharks over there. So just think twice. Other than that, it's an amazing beach. So we did it. Found point 15. Uh, Dolphin Cave. We did Cove. couldn't. F okay, Dolphin Cove. Is that what okay. Mm. So we didn't find uh, number 15, Dolphin Cove. So we headed up to the next one, number 16, and that's the observatory point. Come have a look. <laughs> Number 17, Observatory Beach. Stop number 18, Nine Mile Beach, and it's a great place to snorkel. But we are going to check it out if we are going to do it because the sea seems a little bit wild. But yeah, it's beautiful. We didn't go for a swim. It was a bit too chilly for us, um, but we did enjoy the ocean. <laughs> I keep telling a sea, but it's an ocean, of course. So we're now at number 19 and special about number 19, which is 10 mile lagoon, is that the clothes are optional. <laughs> <laughs> 11 mile beach this is the last stop on the coast um yes yeah, number 20. Number 21, Pink Lake, which isn't pink anymore. Hi guys, so we didn't make it to the final stop. Um, that was a shop was already closed, so we decided to come to another one. 
This is our own stop number 22 and that's the mermaid uh, leather shop and they make uh, items uh, from leather but from fish leather and it's uh, kind of interesting to see how the whole process goes there is a movie uh, the owner is really nice he will explain something and we bought a little souvenir so yeah make sure to check this one out <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, can you tell us where we're going next? Because our whole trip in Western Australia revolves around this location. <laughs> yes, we are going to a local bakery. It's supposed to be really good and they are only open on Friday. That's it. Well, actually, I read on Instagram that since end of November, beginning of December this year, they are open at Saturday as well, but still really cool. We ordered online, so curious to see what they have. And yeah, <laughs> not what you expected, right? No, way bigger. I thought it was a local bakery, but it's be an industrial farm. No. Good warm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Lekker. Oh yeah. Baby dog. Mm. Wow. No? Chocolate bomb. <laughs> but really good. Really soft the inside and crispy the outside. Okay. With so many beautiful beaches, it's hard to pick just one. But we do love Warden Beach. It was so cool. Great waters, a lot of tiny waves and it felt secluded. But nothing too much. Lucky Bay. A few. Really cool. Oh, we're now heading to Lucky Bay. Let's go, let's see if it, we also find it the most beautiful beach in the world. Famous Lucky Bay. Famous for its kangaroos on the beach. However, we only saw one from far. 
So, does that even count? This has to do with the fires of 2022. But for sure they will come back in the future. Lucky Bay, beautiful beach, but not the most beautiful in the world, in our opinion. So, we just said that we didn't see any kangaroos. And we came to the uh, campground. And we saw a tree! <laughs> right next to us. Wow. That's so cool. Lucky Bay, lucky us. Good morning. Rise and shine. Rocky water. Shake, shake, shake it, baby. There we got Frenchman Peak. Um, we decided to not do the uh, climb because we're now in the middle of the day and it's going to be too hot and it's a three hour uh, return. So, yeah, best to skip this one. Cape, hey, Le Grand Beach. <laughs> Thank you for sticking till the end. Curious how a day in a van life looks like? Subscribe to find out next week. <laughs>